And he can barely stand yeah, up now. Boy, they, they've just got to get him out of the ball game. Yeah, I'm totally with you. He's got to come out. To have number seven in the game on a gimpy leg after a hit like that, that is terrible looking after a young player. So there you have it. We break from rankings this week to bring you another edition of The Buzz with Tom Markowski. And the talk all week long, player safety, concussions. First, we grabbed one of the Lions team physicians and Henry Ford Health Systems, Dr. Bill Mazuris, for comment. It's a teachable moment what happened this weekend. And it isn't that anybody did anything wrong per se. The, the reality is that we have to be aware of what's going on on the field. Coaches have to be aware of this. Team members have to be aware of this. Officials have to be aware of this. And if we see that someone may be at risk of getting a concussion, they need to get out and they need to be fully evaluated. All right, Tom, your thoughts to how this relates to the safety of our high school football players? Well, that decision should be in the hands of the doctors, the trainers on the sidelines. I've spoken many times with the coaches in the area, John Harrington, for example, at Farmington Hills Harrison. He said, Tom, I have too many things going on. I have to take care of 50 other kids. I can't be concerned about the welfare of another kid if he is on the sidelines. I have to take the word of the trainer, and once he is cleared, then I can play, uh, play them. That's the way it should be. It should be up to the professionals on the sideline, not a coach with his headphones on calling plays. And I really see no you know, leeway on that. There's, you gotta worry about the safety of the kids first. It's only a game. Yeah, or even a coach without his headphones on. All right, thanks, Tom. We didn't forget about rankings. You can check out all of our latest rankings every Sunday night at statechampsnetwork.com.